Zombies are most commonly found in horror and fantasy genre works. Yet we are living in an uncertain era where a pandemic changed our lives so much. Depending on what causes civilizations collapse, some survival choices will be more useful than others. We are presenting the top 20 zombie proof vehicles you won't believe exist. BMW X5 Protection VR6 Typically, when someone describes a car as being bulletproof, they're speaking in terms of reliability. In the BMW X5 Protection VR6's external hard drive case, however, it's far more literal description. The underbody, cargo area, firewall, and door jams are all overlapped with high-strength armor plating that can take blasts of up to 15 kilograms of explosives from a distance of 13 feet. Thanks to post-blast protective technology, the windows don't completely shatter and remain firmly in place. Seeing through them, however, that's a different story. Mercedes-Benz Defense Unimog Crew Cap Group Carrier what if Amazon's A Handmaid's Tale actually happens? There's no better way to save the women and children from some horrific dystopian reality that enslaves and reassigns them than for a new four-door Unimog crew cab from Mercedes-Benz's defense line. You can build these rigs aimed at military service pretty much any way you want. But in this scenario, we suggest upgrading to the armored troop carrier. It's assuredly better for when society is crumbling around you than the less armored, cloth skin troop carrier pictured here. Either way, there's room for everyone, or at least you and your large family. Outside Van Mercedes-Benz Sprinter 4x4 Conversion Tensions are rising, the riots are happening a lot more often, the mail hasn't been coming, and the power has been iffy at best. You can feel it in your bones. It's only a matter of days before the entire country goes tango uniform. That's why you should consider an upfitted Mercedes-Benz Sprinter from Outside Van. Take the family on a fun overlanding trip today and be super prepared for an uncertain tomorrow. Looking like a monster truck, but this may become your life hack invention in the Walking Dead situation. Jeep Gladiator Rubicon Look, you don't call something a gladiator unless it has those sorts of ambitions. Consider the new Jeep pickup standard equipment. Fox shocks, skid plates, beefy Dana 44 axles, locking front and rear differentials, and rock rails. The Jeep is big, but not too big, and its off-road capability and toughness are assets to leverage when you'll be mowing down the undead and clambering around off the grid trying to evade spawning sites. Uh, we mean former population centers. Armored Chevy Suburban HD. Pre-apocalyptic sorts of tensions take a while to play out into full-on lockdowns, so you've had time to equip your black zombie-proof vehicles with the requisite secret service treatment. That means lights, antenna, tinted windows, and the like. No uninformed police or military will dare second-guess you when you glide through checkpoints with a one-handed confident wave. You're above their pay grade, or at least appear to be, and so you're probably doing something important. Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro The Toyota Tacoma is a little long in the tooth, you say? Could be, but you're not going to be looking to impress the Joneses when the Russians are landing on both coasts. You're going to need something you can pack up, pack in, and take off in without even an errant concern over its reliability. The hardcore off-road ready TRD Pro versions ensures you won't have a pang of unease over the Tacoma's capability either. The 2020 Tacoma TRD Pro adds an incredible army green paint option. Mercedes-Benz G550 It's a shame Mercedes-Benz has yet to resurrect the towering G550 4x4 squared model in the redesigned G-Class lineup. It'd be perfect for when the world goes to hell in a handbasket. Plus, a 4x4 squared base on the new G-Class sure would be sweet to show off to your soon-to-be doomed fellow citizens. While you could always find one on the unused market, new is always better, if that best car smell is something you want to hang on to post-apocalypse. The regular G-Wagon is worthy, if not quite as tall as the discontinued 4x4 squared. Aerial Nomad Tactical Offering absolutely no defensive protection, the Aerial Nomad should be your pick if your number one concern is the only concern, getting out of Dodge right now. It's essentially an aerial atom that's been over-engineered to move quickly through practically any terrain. 
focus on that. Not the fact that the buggy has barely enough room inside for a backpack. What the Nomad does have is a supercharged Honda K24 engine, pumping out 300 horsepower, BF Goodrich mud terrain tires, an adjustable heavy-duty suspension, and a feathery 1,750-pound weight. Rolls-Royce Phantom Extended Wheelbase Whatever you did in the normal world to afford the 500,000 plus Phantom Extended Wheelbase, we'll assume you'll be crafty enough to insanely do the math when the antibiotic-resistant supervirus outbreak hits. Even if you can get out of the rain for a few days, or even weeks, there's no beating a force of nature like this. Earth is done with us, and it's hitting reset. Only the germs will survive. It's against this bleak, hopeless backdrop that we suggest the rolls. Unlike some of the other vehicles on this list, it isn't going to beat the odds and carry you to a post-human earthly existence. No, it's here for those on measuring out their remaining days one drink at a time in comfort and style. Ford Transit Connect Cargo Van it's not difficult to imagine a scenario in which the same geniuses who brought you the mortgage crisis, credit crisis, and a few stock market collapses could botch the entire financial system, sending us all back to the Stone Age overnight. There would be roving gangs, sure, but for the most part, people would just want to survive. You included, we bet. So get yourself a Ford Transit Connect cargo van. It's small, affordable, and useful even before the economy melts down. Imagine, you could barter your way across the nation like a dystopian version of John Favreau and Chef, cooking up food for the masses in exchange for raw ingredients, shelter, warmth, or fuel. Mitsubishi Delica Of course, the zombie apocalypse may strike without warning, meaning we're going to have to use what's close at hand. If you're on the West Coast, odds are you're going to have easy access to one of the most useful and capable vans ever built. It's narrow enough to squeeze through a gap in traffic, sure-footed with four-wheel drive, and you can sleep in it. Sure, maneuvering a right-handed vehicle is a little trickier in traffic, but when the traffic is all trying to eat your sweet, sweet, delicious brain, you just run them over anyway. How to survive an American car crash? This following gadget car could be your answer. Honda Civic Go Bag Zombies won't be the only danger out there on the road. With the breakdown of the social contract favoring those who are good at swinging a bat, you'll have to keep your guard up on the road. That means you're going to need to be quick on the move. And if you don't have the good luck to be living on a six-wheeled city or in a convoy of giant terror buses, then some ubiquitous crafty quickness is needed. Enter this cool gadget, Honda Civic. Haglund's BV206 but what if the zombie apocalypse strikes while I'm stuck in some creepy military base, you ask? Good question. In my experience, zombie apocalypses pretty much only happen when people go to the hospital, visit the mall, or get stuck in a creepy military base. In Canada, getting trapped in a base is no problem. Not when you've got the keys to a BB-206 hanging somewhere close by. This articulated four-track machine is capable of crossing any terrain from sand to snow to muskeg. And even if you're only trapped in a crumbling abandoned farmhouse, you still might be able to get your hands on one, as several decommissioned versions have been pressed into use as transports, especially in prairies. Ford Raptor Wander onto a Ford or Dodge dealership lot and you'd assume the apocalypse is already here. Sure, there are shiny hatchbacks and sensible minivans to be found, but take a quick stroll over to where they keep the trucks, because that way madness lies. Ford's Raptor is a very well publicized already, and no doubt you've seen footage of its flared out muscular shape jumping over sand dunes or bumped into a suspiciously pristine and unscratched version in your mall's parking lot. Well, when the zombies show up, all those Baja truck looks will get to put to good use. Will your gang of wasteland warriors be called the Raptors? Hopefully not, unless you're all good at basketball. Aston Martin DB9 The Aston Martin DB9 is a British Grand Tourer first shown by Aston Martin at the 2003 Frankfurt Auto Show. The DB9, originally designed by Ian Callum, was finished by Henrik Fisker as an aluminum construction. The chassis is the Ford-developed VH platform, whilst the engine is the 5.9-liter V12 from the Vanquish. The 2016 Aston Martin DB9 GT has a manufacturer-suggested retail price of around $203,000 for the coupe and around $218,000 for the Volante convertible. If you're opting for the Bond edition, you'll pay $240,000 for the coupe option only. 
Ford Police Interceptor Utility Hybrid. Howdy partners, aliens have landed and you've just been deputized. You'll need the help of bright spotlights and a sturdy bash bar for an emergency getaway. If Hollywood predicted it right, aliens are going to be tiny little fellas, but they're going to be fast. The 2020 Ford Explorer marks another generation of the Ford tradition, and it also comes with a new special police model, one that uses a hybrid drivetrain to save fuel and boost horsepower output. The three-row SUV has loads of room for supplies or friends you might rescue along the way. This zombie-proof vehicle has been engineered to safely soak up to 75 miles per hour rear impact just in case aliens try to attack you from the back. Terex 33-19 Titan Right, no sense mucking around with lift kits for that Hyundai. Here's the one-time largest truck to ever exist. It is simply enormous, built to scale that boggles the mind. 7 meters high, 8 meters wide, 20 meters long, 6 wheels, 10 tires, 4 General Motors electric traction motors, and a 169.1 liter 16-cylinder 3300 horsepower diesel engine. That ought to do it. Granted, there's just one of these behemoths, located as a display in the small mining town of Sparwood, BC. It's a prototype unit built in London, Ontario, as the first of an intended run that never really materialized. Incus Riot Control Vehicle. But first, do us a favor. Click that like button to inspire us. Subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell and you won't miss any interesting videos. Done then, let's go. Put the kibosh on civil disobedience when you could be running a town or greaseball militia before you know it. And stability and protection is powerful social currency in a post-apocalyptic times. So, why not pacify the masses on your way to your new station by using the 250 PSI water cannons mounted atop Inca's very aptly named riot control vehicle? will pretty much tone down any anxious crowd you can imagine. If the hordes get too feisty, don't worry, the riot control vehicle can withstand multiple high-velocity rounds as well as shrapnel from explosions. Sure, We're not sure what Thulu looks like yet. Legends tell of an enormous octopus with big armored scales and tentacles strong enough to lift cruise ships. Whatever sleeping medication Thulu takes, it's working because the beast hasn't revealed itself in over 15,000 million years. When that day comes, choose the Sherp. The 43 horsepower ATV wears giant 63 inch tires that can climb logs, rocks, ice, snow, but most impressively travel on water at 3.7 miles per hour. Okay, that's not very quick, considering your typical fishing boat has a top speed of 11 miles per hour. But the Sherp doesn't stop when it hits the shore. The Water Car The Water Car Python, known as a Panther, is the fastest amphibious vehicle in the world, driving on land and boating in water. The car is a modified consumer vehicle which can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 4.5 seconds. The car uses a standard engine on land and a jet engine for water propulsion, giving it a top speed of 60 miles per hour in water and 100 miles per hour on land. While the car isn't for everyone, it can be hand built to order and customized with over 60 different exterior colors to drum. Rather than sit in traffic all morning, why not just commute on water? Which one could survive the zombie apocalypse? Do you want to ride any of them? Let us know in the comment section. Like always, if you enjoyed it, be sure to give us a big thumbs up and leave us some love in the comment section. To keep up to date with all of our awesome videos, be sure to hit subscribe and turn your notifications on to never miss a thing. Until next time, do take care of yourself.